In this video, we are going to present the fresh frozen cadaveric study of direct pouch of Douglas laparoscopic and robotic choker insertion for vaginal natural orifice transluminal endoscopic surgery. Those are our disclosures. This study was published in the Journal of Minimally Invasive Gynecology in June 2020. Our objective was to determine the distances and angles that assure a safe entry into the pouch of Douglas during blind laparoscopic and robotic choker entry. The study was conducted at Innova Fairfax, Virginia. Trochers were inserted in the pelvis of four intact fresh frozen cadavers. Cadaveric dissection was performed and the distance from the pouch of Douglas to the sacrum at rest and with maximal pressure to the pouch of Douglas with a trocar were measured. Additionally, the optimal angle for trocar insertion and entry were evaluated. Four intact fresh frozen cadaveric specimens with intact uterus were available. Laparotomy incisions were made and the abdominal content was packed cephalad in the upper abdomen. Vaginally posterior fornix was grasped 3 cm posterior to the cervix with an alphys clamp. The abdominal distance between S2 and the pouch of Douglas was measured, as can be seen here in the yellow marked line. An alphys clamp effectively provided traction and kept the rectum posterior to the entry point. A two centimeter incision was made between the posterior aspect of the cervix and the Ellis clamp. An 11 millimeter choker was placed at the vaginal incision site and maximum pressure was exerted horizontal to the axis of the bed to the extent that the tip of the choker tinted the peritoneum. The S2 was designated at zero centimeters and the choker tip movement of the pouch of Douglas with pressure was the difference between the sacrum to the pouch of Douglas pressure and the sacrum and the distance to the sacrum and the pouch of Douglas without pressure. At this point, the choker was advanced to puncture the peritoneum and pointed anteriorly to clear the sacrum and the bifurcation of the major vessels. The anterior posterior angle required to safely clear the sacral blood vessels, as well as left to right deviation from the center were measured. The distance between S2 and the hymen was measured as a direct line, and the vaginal length was measured as the difference between the distance from the sacrum to the hymen and the sacrum to the pouch of Douglas, and this was an important factor for the choice of the choker and the degree of the rotation that could be applied. The procedure was repeated with robotic chokers and measurements were obtained. The mimic choker for the hominis robot was a special choker significantly designed for the pouch of Douglas entry with a needle tip that engaged to prevent movement of the peritoneum. To the results, the average age of the fresh frozen cadavers was 60 years old with an average BMI of 27. The mean distance from the sacrum to the pouch of Douglas was 9.75 and from the sacrum to the pouch of Douglas with pressure was 7.25 and from the sacrum to the hymen was 18.75. After the deployment of the choker, the tip was observed to be two centimeter below the cervix in the pouch of Douglas. In this slide, we can see the, the laparoscopic choker in the left side versus the robotic choker in the right side. The mean choker angle to clear the sacral promontory and the neurovascular structures without injury to the uterus was 25 to 40 degrees from the horizontal plane and 15 to 30 degrees from the coronal plane. To conclude, a direct trocar entry into the pouch of Douglas has been found to be feasible in fresh frozen cadaveric specimens. This study provided valuable information for the angle of the entry into the pouch of Douglas to facilitate vaginal and robotic 
Drucker entry for minimally invasive gynecologic procedure. Thank you.